Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So I just received my GoPro Hero 7 Black and I am super pumped about it. So uh, we're going to open this guy up here, uh, but I wanted to do it in a little bit more interesting way. I just picked up my first ever AR-15 and so rather than the traditional boring unboxing like we did the other day, uh, we're going to unbox this thing with the AR-15. So should be fairly simple and hopefully we don't destroy the new camera that would be really really sad so we'll get set up here lay this down just like this and we're going to try to just open the bottom of the box by shooting right down this flap where it needs to open right about here putting it on fire this is really nerve wracking There we got it. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. I'd say that was a good shot. You know, look at that. Okay, this is really cool. Right here you can see the bullet turn sideways from that. From it hitting right here initially. You can see where it hit there. And then it deflected the bullet and turned it sideways. And so we've got a sideways imprint right there. I'm not even sure if that one probably went through the... Oh yeah, look at this, this is really cool. Okay, so some of them, the ones that went straight, came straight through the back and even hit back here. But that one that was turned sideways must have deflected inside of the tank and it made all these little marks where it started to want to come out this side here. Well, the AR-15 did its job in helping us get started here. The bullet... It hit right where I wanted it to, pretty much right on the edge of this box. And then it kind of turned and came out as it was tilting. It just kind of punctured a little bit deeper. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm happy with it. It's, it's clean, I feel like. So, so we finish opening this. Open it here. And yeah, it did puncture this layer of cardboard just slightly. So the way these uh, GoPros unbox, if you haven't done it before, is you just slide this entire assembly down. There it goes. All right. So pulling it down here. And there he is. GoPro Hero 7 Black. So uh, in previous video, I think maybe I mentioned it, but I'll mention it again. I've always been a skeptic of whether or not GoPros are worth the money. I always thought we were kind of trendy and not really worth it. But um, after using them a little bit, I actually have come around to them. Having something that's dedicated that I can be videoing with and I can still take phone calls or do something else with my phone at the same time is really nice. So I'll link down in the description to the Hero 7 Black. The Hero 7 Black has a Hyper Smooth, as you see advertised right here. And uh, that is unbelievable. It is super amazing how good of a job it does at uh, stabilizing the video. Anyway, okay, so to remove this thing from its base here, you lift this little tab and then squeeze these and it pops out the front just like so. So there it is. And then inside of this box, normally, how would we open it normally? Right here. We have our a couple stickers and some basic instructions. Hey, did they? These are just safety instructions. Important product plus safety instructions. That's annoying. They don't they don't print the manuals anymore, and so you have to go online. And we actually just printed one out for my brother for his Hero Five Black. Okay, and then inside of here we have our battery as well as a USB-C power cable and a couple of mounts of various sorts for mounting different places. So it's actually a really good way to unbox this because uh, all this stuff is up towards the top. So when we shot it right here, none of that stuff was down there, but it did manage to get a lot of this dusty white stuff everywhere, little shards of paper. So. Uh, it's probably not the best way to unbox something, but hey, it was more fun than the typical unboxing. So, <clears throat> yeah, hopefully this GoPro will be really fantastic for a long time to come. And uh, I'm going to 
go plug it in, charge it up, and update it. I know that they say you're supposed to update these things right away, the Hero 7 Black, because the new software updates that they have put out enable a lot of the features that this thing is supposed to be able to do. So here are a couple test shots. This is 1080p at 24 frames per second. Uh, nothing too crazy here. This is just the snow we got this morning. It's only October 14th. We shouldn't have snow already here in southwest Minnesota, but we do. Uh, but you'll see here the hyper smooth is turned on. I think this is shot in just wide screen 16.9. And you can see that it's pretty stable. On, there wasn't a lot of hand shake per se, but Careful. it's a lot more stable than the older uh, videos used to be. The time lapse coming up here is what's really cool. It's pretty nice. And we got the old 2002 F-150 out today. We probably didn't really need it for the snow, but... Alright, so here is the part that is super cool. So the camera is mounted permanently or not permanently it's clipped securely inside of the truck and you can see the dash of the truck move up and down as the camera stabilizes the basically the horizon line you can see that it doesn't move or stray at all this is technically I think their uh, time warp is what they call it instead of time lapse uh, but it is pretty fantastic this is uh, 10 times the speed of normal, the 10 times time lapse. And uh, yeah, this this part is what's really cool. The time warp feature is pretty fantastic. So those are some test shots for you. Hopefully there'll be a lot of upcoming videos using the Hero 7 Black. But in the meantime, that's been the unboxing. And if you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And hit that bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. So. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Hey, let me know also if you think I should unbox all of the things with the AR-15, because... <coughs> yeah, I mean, it's better than a typical unboxing, isn't it? I mean, I, it kind of hurts, breaks my heart to have the packaging be damaged, but... <sighs> Realistically, do you need the packaging long-term? I don't know. Uh, let's, let's look over here. I want to show you this one more time. Um... <laughs> here is that spot where after it just hit that after it hit the box that bullet turned completely sideways and went through there sideways just so cool here are the two shots that were practice shots trying to get to where I wanted it to be and then finally there's the one where it actually opened the box and then this one since it was going sideways it didn't have enough of a, a pointed entry to go into the tank itself so it kind of deflected through this foam on the other side of this outer jacket and then you can feel all the bumps here where those little fragments were trying to push out there's one spot where it kind of poked through just a little bit <clears throat> unlike the other rounds just came straight out the back so and then into the next water heater and if you're wondering the ar-15 was able to push the bullets through the first water heater and into the second one but not out of the second one so yeah pretty crazy stuff i can't believe how powerful that thing is and man it's so much fun to shoot compared to like a 22 <laughs> i wish it was as cheap to shoot as a 22 though because i think we're paying like almost 30 cents a round and right now you can get 22 ammunition for 3.6 cents per round it'll also be interesting to see if uh this video gets totally demonetized because it features a gun um I think that's terrible if it does, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, if you're going to buy a Hero 7 Black and you like my channel, you use the link in the description. It helps me get just a little sliver of support to be able to continue making these videos. It doesn't cost you anything extra either. So, all right. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.